Now, this is part four, I believe, of grooming a Westie. This is Olivia. If you've been watching, you know her. And I've already done her face, feet, sanitary, her tail. Um, the tail I didn't show you. And I just took clippers down the, the top and the sides and I took my thinners and just uh, made it nice and even on the bottom there. So that's really all you do with the tail. So now we get to her uh, feet and legs and skirt area. I just wanna comb everything straight down on her foot. And I've already done her toenails. So I'll just lift it up here and scissor just along where her toenails end. I don't wanna show her toenails when she stands back up. <clears throat> Hooligan's still whining in the background, so you'll have to just listen to him, I guess. He's being silly. Okay, so I've trimmed around the bottom. Now I stand her up, and I look down around the bottom, and I even anything out that's sticking out past where I already tripped. So I just basically make her have a nice, neat little foot all the way around, even on the inside and on the front. Okay. Doing that, I hold my scissors pretty much flat to the ground and just scissor around the foot. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing on the front here. I'm only going to show you half of her for time's sake. I'm still learning on the computer and the camera. I don't know how to edit yet, so I've got to deal with multiple parts. <laughs> multiple videos. Okay, now I've trimmed around the bottom. Now I stand her up. If she'll stay there. She's used to standing in the other direction, so that's why she keeps trying to turn around. Then I will take my shears and do the same thing that I did with the back and go around the bottom. Just neat it up, anything that sticks out. Okay. Then I'm going to turn her straight here and get a better look. Hold still. Get the inside. You can also lift the leg up, comb everything down, and kind of, you can see your line. It's kind of obvious when you lift it that you can kind of tell where you need to be. And then for her legs, they're supposed to basically have tapered pillar legs. Most owners like them tapered just for the simple fact that it keeps everything cleaner. So in other words, I get a little shorter the closer to the foot I get. Not much, not to create big baggy legs by any means, but just a little bit to keep it off the ground. And I just basically neaten her up here and there. You can kind of adjust the length to however you prefer it. She gets a medium length on her legs and skirt. I'll turn her around here and I'll show you how I do the skirt. I comb everything down. Make sure her belly's nice and combed out. No mats, no tangles. <clears throat> and then Using my scissors first, I'll come along and create a line along the bottom at whatever length she needs. Okay? Now I'm coming down again. And with my thinners, I'll come along and just neat it up and make it look more natural than the blunt scissor cut. Okay, now also, I told you when I was clipping that I like to uh, thin this out and make it look a little less noticeable. So when I do that, you can hold your clippers either this way or this way. Um, you just gotta be careful not to make too big of a hole. So I just take one snip in an area, work my way along, okay? Then I'll comb it down, see what I've done. And then in places that I need to, I'll go back along and thin through it again. Okay. 
Now, the point is not to have a big puffy hula skirt coming out here. You want, when you look at the dog, you don't want to see anything sticking out over here on the side. You know what I mean? Like this stuff over here is kind of sticking out. You just want it to go straight down. So that is basically how you do that. Get up girl, be stubborn. Now on the back leg, you just kind of basically neaten just like you did on the front leg. You comb everything out and away from the leg. And I usually just use my thinners and just go along here, there, and everywhere. And just kind of neaten the places that look scraggly. You are determined to stand that way, aren't you? You silly girl. Anyway, all right. Back here is just like in the front, like I showed you before when I was clipping. You don't want anything sticking out. Oop, you can't see, can you? There we go. You don't want anything sticking out back here. So, basically, I just comb everything out as fluffy as it gets and use my thinners and just come in here and make this back here kind of short, really, back on the bum. Because you don't want big pantaloons coming out from the dog. You just don't, it's not attractive. So, that creates a nice straight line there. And this is your pet Wistie. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.